Hey everybody, we're Diamond Suboyo, back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Generation Hopes video. Girl friend zones the nice guy. She lives to regret it. Let's get into this. Uh, Jessica, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? Uh, I don't think this guy is right for you. Oh my god, not this again, Sheldon. Look, I've told you, we are never going to be anything, you and me. You're not exactly what girls call boyfriend material. You know, you're more like a gay best friend or better yet, like my little brother. He's not the guy that you think he is. I think I reacted to one like this guy's before. He's, he's, a use, he's cheating on you and, and he's using you Angel to... wouldn't do that, Sheldon. <laughs> God, you know what? I think you're just jealous because you're never gonna get a girlfriend, Sheldon. I can't talk about this right now. I have a date with a real man, okay? So, chop chop, get back to cleaning, and I'll see you the same time next week. <laughs> Dude, you suck at this game. It's not fair. Are you stealing money or something? I'm not stealing money. I'm using my brain. Maybe you should check to see if you still have one, hmm? Shut up. Oh. That must be Angel. Mmm, oh, that's so good. You ready to go yet? Um, I kind of lost track of time. Give me like five minutes. Uh, come on. Hey, Sheldon. This is Angel. Angel, this is Sheldon. Um, you guys just hang for a minute so I can finish getting ready. He not gonna say excuse me, I wouldn't have screwed over for him. What's up, Sheldon? Are you just, just a little brother or gay best friend? <laughs> no, actually, uh, we're, we're we're just friends. Uh, but uh, we we go way back. We know each other since high school. Damn, she's fun. Check her out. What the hell? He on his phone looking at other women. Uh, yeah, she's pretty. Uh, but you're dating Jessica. Y'all been dating for like six months, right? Bro, relax. I'm just talking to these girls. And six months is nothing. I'm just going out with Jessica because she pays for everything. She comes over literally whenever I want. Dang. She actually thinks Why I care. Why would you tell her friend that, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, you basically just asking for her to just find out through him. Her father. I'm going to play her as long as I can. Dude, that's wow. not OK. <sighs> You, you need, need to, to be, be honest, honest with her about your intentions. Man, shut up. I'm just here to get whatever I want and dip. I probably won't talk to this guy after this month. Got so many girls on the roster and on rotation. Wow. Just because really just aren't getting useless to me. I'm gonna tell her what you're doing. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Who do you think she's gonna believe? The guy who's giving her the time of her life? Or some loser she keeps around like a little pet? It's not like that. She actually trusts me and appreciates me. Last night, just and I were talking. Look what she said about you. Go ahead. Read it out loud. Sheldon is a loser. I invite him to play games, but I really only use him to clean my apartment. See? She don't care about you. You're just the doormat she steps on until she gets a real man like me. <laughs> Come on, man. You really think Jessica would go for someone like you? She just quit and go back to living in your mom's basement. No, no, it, it, you're lying. It, she, she, she would never say anything like that. Somebody just stole her phone or something. Mm, you look good. He babe. really don't want to believe that she talks about him like that. Thanks, babe. All right, um, I'm ready to go. Uh, Sheldon, you remember what you need to do, right? Of course, I memorized it. Clean the kitchen. Wipe off the counters, vacuum the floors, and water the plants. And? Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, pick up the dog and take care of it back at my place. Look at you. I guess I trained you up well, huh? Come on, Hans. Let's go. I'll let you make it to work. That's awesome. Just kidding, Sheldon.
Yeah, yeah I forgot my phone. Um, I'll, I'll meet you down by the car, okay? Just give me a minute to look for it. Sounds good, Willis. Uh, Jessica, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? Uh, I don't think the sky is right for you. Oh my god, not this again, Sheldon. <laughs> look, I've told you, we are never going to be anything, you and me. You're not exactly what girls call boyfriend material. You know, you're more like a gay best friend, or better yet, like my little brother. Um, that's not what what this is about. Uh, Jessica, he's not the guy that you think he is. He's he's a use he's cheating on you, and and he's using. You Angel to wouldn't do that, Sheldon. <laughs> You know what? I, I think, think you're, you're just jealous, jealous because you're never gonna get a girlfriend, Sheldon. Wow. I, can't I can't talk about this right now. I have a date with a real man, okay? So, chop chop, get back to cleaning, and I'll see you the same time next week. Sheldon was always there for Jessica. He kept showing up week after week, cleaning her apartment, doing favors for her, and even emotionally supporting her when she got into fights with her boyfriend, Angel. Jessica kept her relationship with Angel despite all the red flags and how much he mistreated her. Then one day, while Angel and Jessica were hanging out, she discovers something shocking. How's that dust thing come along, Shell? Uh, it's really hard work, but I'm glad I can keep your apartment clean. Oh boy. He said it's really hard work. Justin is not hard work. I know I can always count on you, Shell. I'm here for you, Jessica. Why are there other girls texting your phone? Why are you looking through my phone? We've been dating for a year now and you're still talking to other girls? I thought we were exclusive. Don't you love me? You think I like you like that? After a year of dating? I was just having fun. Why are you getting all worked up? I can't believe you. Get out of my house. We're done. Sheldon tried to tell you you ain't wanna listen. Oh, we're done. I could find ten girls like you in an hour. Then I got what I wanted while I could. I don't get pet. I'm, I'm sorry, Jessica. You deserve so much better than that. He was a jerk. Just stop, Sheldon. I need to be alone right now. You don't understand what it's like to love somebody and then have them take advantage of you. I have seen your heart get broken. He do know what it's like because he dang near love you and you're taking advantage of him. Over and over again. We've known each other for years now and I, I know if you give me a chance, I, I would treat you right. Shut up, Sheldon. I can never be with a guy like you. You're a nice guy. You're my bestie. Please, just go back to cleaning. No, I, I, I can't do this anymore. You keep taking me for granted and, and treating me bad. You're never there when I need you. You're just like Angel. You, you take advantage of people and then push them away. Put her in her place. I'm keeping this. Sheldon stopped reaching out to Jessica and began focusing on himself. He began working out, eating healthy, and even started a successful online business. This gave him a confidence that he never thought he had before. However, things weren't going so well for Jessica. Now that she didn't have a boyfriend, she began thinking about all the things that Sheldon had done for her and realized that he had always been there for her even when she treated him like garbage. After some time went by, she decided to reach out to Sheldon to see if she can make things right again. Hey, Shell. Uh, is everything okay? You said there was an emergency. Yeah, um, everything's fine. Uh, come in.
What's going on? You said there was an emergency. There's no emergency, Shell. Truth is, I've come to realize that you're the right guy for me. You've always been sweet and supported me through those horrible breakups. And I guess I just always went for the jerk because I never really learned to love myself. And so I couldn't let other people love me either. But now that I've learned to appreciate what I have in life, I'm ready to give us a shot, Shell. So what do you say? Now she want to be with him. Mm. Jessica, I am glad that you are finally deciding to love yourself. But after all those years of being mistreated and being taken for granted, I don't think we could ever be in a relationship. I've started working on myself and surrounding myself with people that appreciate what I do for them. Hey, babe. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be here in 20 minutes. Look, he got a whole girl. Yes. I'm just uh, finishing up here with a friend. Okay. Bye. I love you. Speaking of people that appreciate me, I gotta go. I gotta date with my girlfriend. I hope you find what you're looking for. Bestie. She messed up. It's easy to take people for granted, especially when they've always been there for you. So remember to take the time to appreciate the people that continue to love and support you, especially through the good times and the bad times. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and 